Hello everyone. So we're back with some stalker called Chernobyl. Now, sorry, my videos have been kind of spaced out and that stuff. Real life has been very hectic. Lots of uh, stuff going on. So I had to do a bunch of pre-recording and well, I ran out of them and I've been trying to space them out. So I'm here late night doing some recording. Now, last time we were here, we bought some. I sold off a lot of things and bought some stuff offline. That's right, I got the actual, uh, what's it called? I really wish I could see the view. There we go. Military exoskeleton. Yeah, so as you can see, I can take a hit from enemies, but my fire, lightning, radiation, and that stuff is pretty weak. I am going to switch this around. Now, it was a cool pot. Remember the quest I said uh, to get the basic tools? Not only did he have the basic tools, he had the advanced tools as well. So this is going to be really nice for us. Let's see, what's that? Oh, crap. I can't go down enough to click on it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. Sniper rifles. But I don't have the money for them. Yeah, see. Let's see if there's any uh, weapons. That's a tailoring kit. Okay, they do have the ammo. I just want to buy some ammo. <laughs> So let's go and uh, do the uh, armor upgrades. I'll at least look at them. I don't think we can get any. Let's see. Are you up here? Yes. So let's see what we have here. Energy recovery is always good. But since radiation and chemicals are my big weaknesses, then that might be a big upgrade. My sonic uh, protection is pretty good. I think this is the only night vision this suit gets, too. Let's 
let's see how much this changes. Ooh. Now, I could go this way and still get this one, if I remember correctly. Wait, Shock 13 versus 2 Thelmerl. Are you joking, game? That's not even a good conversation. Let's Yeah, we're we'll, we'll definitely going with the 13. Not enough money, alright. So at least now I can actually uh, take a nice zap uh, without dying. Jeez, bandits took this entire area. Well, let's go clear out some bandits. If we can get out without taking a mass amount of mutant attacks. I thought I said that to Tab. Let's check to make sure there's nothing in here. Because there's sometimes stuff in there. Well, let's also look for... Are there any... Oh yeah, they did move out there. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's the scientist. Lonos, I'm friendly. Enemy, 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 enemy. I'm new. I'm friendly with bandits. That's right. That's going to be so weird. Well, what was? I think my goal said I wanted to be neutral with uh, everyone but monoliths and bandits. So, the ghosts I didn't expect. F I didn't expect all of this to happen. <laughs> I guess we better go find some, either some friend, uh, freedom or loners to go kill. Try to push them out of the zone. Because that was kind of the goal of uh, this series. Uh, was to uh, make friends with everyone or conquer or be, be neutral I guess and all friendly and conquer the ones that can't be because I wonder if I can go start evading the monolith territory right now let's, let's go check that out see how this suit of armor works against monoliths Let's check out the controls. Did I not have it set to...
I guess there isn't any toggle. Unless I'm missing it, then people can tell, yell at me and say, You missed it, dumbass! Oh. That's bright. Alright, what is it? T H Oh well. Uh, so let's go find some monoliths to kill. That should increase my wrap up a lot. Everyone hates the monoliths. That's right, my radiation levels are really shitty. The pig's gonna attack. <laughs> now they chase something into an explosion. I want to go up this way. Risk the pigs and the radiation. So, I think my wound covers, like, the explosive and the impact and all that sort of stuff. So, like, uh, anomalies that are uh, pressure-based will have less effect on me because that counts towards my wound stat. And mutants attacks will do less damage because that's wound as well. Alright, let's Things that will have more of an effect would be uh, bandit bullets. Well, I shouldn't say bullets, but monolith bullets. Because that goes off the armor stat. Of course, uh, fire, acid, and, uh, you know, those type of anomalies are going to really mess me up. Lightning, I'm a little less worried about now that I got that installation for 13%. Seriously, I think the mod author needs to look at that where it's like you have a 13% versus a 2%. What are you going to choose? You're going to choose the 13, of course. And since uh, it's not a uh, linear tr tract where you have to take uh, choice B to get to choice D and C to get to E, you can take B and go to E.
Seriously? Who am I at war with? Lono's freedom, ecology, but not mercenaries. Jeez, I didn't even take any damage and I s heard the bullets hit. Okay, everyone there I'm hostile to, even though those guys in blue were mercenaries. Unless... Okay. So, the, the scientists, I'm back to being new. Oh, those guys are ecologists as well. They're just combat versions, I guess. Nothing of value. At least now that we're we'll, we'll no longer at war. Oh, wow. Well, the only downside about the, um, uh, what's it called? The exoskeleton? I can't run. This is my fastest moving speed until I get the upgrade. Get your ass back here so I can talk to you. Здравствуйте, молодой человек. Рад был с вами пообщаться. Okay, I need to kneel. This is where all these mutant pots come into play.
I have no idea where the pistol came from, but oh well. Oh, great. <laughs> this is going to be a peekaboo game. Some tough armor that guy had. Shame he only had a shotgun. Gosh. So yeah, even with the good armor, I'm not indestructible. And I cannot move faster even with the uh, better, uh, with my weapon put away. I think I remember why I have it set to DirectX 2. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch it back to DirectX 2 after this uh, video. Yeah, I've gotten a little too close to the brain scorcher. This is pissing me off. I'm just gonna go in, sell what I can, and get out. Cause the game's now trolling.
And I think I keep picking up the guns by mistake. Take that and drink it. Damn it. Wasn't there a PDA somewhere? I guess not. Всего наилучшего. There's one to kill him. Alright, so what's that single vodka bottle? Picked up a one use only vodka bottle, but I guess not. I think there's a... There we go. What's in here? Nothing. Keep your gun out because you don't know when something might turn around that uh, invisible bin and kill you. Now, in this mod, the everyone, all the main vendors work except for the Merc. The Merc always crashed on me. So I don't know if it's a mod that come, that's glitched out the Merc mod, or if it's the main mod itself. So it could be one of the sub mods, or it could be a main mod.
Alright, I always keep my gun out because creatures and people will travel between the zones. And as you're leaving or entering a zone, they can be sitting right here and ambushing you. Normally they want, well it's not like they are trying to ambush you, but it's just like you're spawning and they're right there in front of you. I've had that happen with like bloodthirsters doing this. This is going to be a part that really freaks me out because this is going to be a fire anomaly coming up and I'm in a suit of armor that prevents me from running. And with the uh, frame rate drops like this, it's very uneven, unnerving. As you can see, there's one of the two fire anomalies. This is like a double fire anomaly. So we're gonna quick save. As you can see, the dogs got burned. Ah! I couldn't get my bolts out for some reason. Yeah, and that's a big thing. Because you're so slow, the fire will slow you down even more. So yeah, this is the big problem. The fire slows you when you get hit by it. And the blade's not that bad. Yeah, see the blade's already gone. So let's try to... Oh, wow! The duty base was overrun by... Well, that ain't good. We are definitely gonna go and take care of that. Of course, that's gonna be in the next episode. Let's see how these guys... What these guys are shooting at before I end this episode. Oh, it's a cat! Sounds like a pack of them, too. Oh. Hopefully in my good armor, the cats won't be such a threat. Oh. Is that cats and bloodthirsters? Oh, did he chase the cat into the lightning? Man, they can, that is one thing I hate about the cats. They can take up a lot of damage. Well, let's save it. Oh! Okay.
Well, that would be a great place to end this episode. Tune in next time.